Hey y'all, uh, just sitting, thought I'd do another little vid for you. I thought I'd do this one on uh, stripping your minis. Um, you know, sometimes when you have a mini that's got like a less than stellar paint job you want to redo. So what you have to do is you have to strip your mini. Well, what do you strip with? Well, uh, Noob KX, he did a product review on a product that I use quite often for stripping my minis. He uh, did a review on acetone. And he's right, it works great on, and it's relatively cheap. I said I got this, I think I got this can for like seven bucks at Walmart. And he's right, you can, I, I know you can get it like Lowe's, Home Depot, other hardware stores, but like I said, if you ain't got one close to you, Walmart will have it. And, God knows they're everywhere. Now, obviously, you're going to need put in. You're going to want to pour the acetone into a glass jar. He was using a pickle jar. I have these jars here. Uh, um, it is a solvent. It actually, it's one of the safer solvents to use as far as skin goes. It's um, actually the active ingredient in a fingernail polish remover. If you, you know, if you got a sister or something who has it, look on the back of the list of ingredients on fingernail polish remover and acetone's in it. But anyway, you only want to fill the jar. You don't want to fill the jar up the whole way. I never do. I only usually fill it up to maybe about a third, no more than half, because you know you're going to be putting minis in there, and that's going to raise the level too. So anyway, you. Another thing you're going to need for retrieving your minis out of the jar is um, a pair of, uh, oh god, what the hell do they call these things? Tweezers. Uh, bet, it, bet, good idea to use some metal ones. You don't have to, but it's really a good idea to use metal ones. The, you can use any style you want. I just happen to have these in my um, tool drawer. This is what I grabbed out first, and that's what I use. Now... An old, old beat up toothbrush for when you pull the mini out. You're going to need to brush it off with something, and these work great. This just happens to be um, Oral B. It doesn't really matter. This one also happens to be one of the types that um, a sonic one that vibrates. You don't have to have that. I just use this one because it kind of helps a little bit to use one of those, but again, it's not necessary. You can use a. Uh, manual style toothbrush and it'll work just fine um something else that's a good idea to have is an old beat up is an old brag or beat up you know in my case i'm using an old t-shirt i use it for clean a lot of stuff as you can see you know wipe cleaning out brushes and whatnot so let me show you how i go you know first of all you're going to need a painted up mini after you put your um acetone in your glass jar you put the mini in and you wait for a amount of time you I mean the shortest amount of time you could wait is a half hour but stripping minis this is something you have to rush to do so I just throw them in then whenever I get time I go back and strip them which for this batch of minis is right now now this batch is uh, some Gorgon Protomex so they're uh, single piece minis but just to let you know, if you put in a multi-piece miniature in there, they will, the acetone will eat apart the glue. And so they will come in, so your mini will come apart inside of the jar. It's just going to happen. Um, so that the longer tweezers makes it nice for trying to find those small pieces like... Uh, Say the machine guns on the side of this. <laughs> the machine guns are small laser cannons, whatever. But small pieces will fall to the bottom of the jar. So, anyway, let's hope. Another thing, being that this is acetone as a solvent, it's pretty strong. You can't see it off camera, or I've got a really quiet fan going to keep a breathe, to keep it ventilated, so. You do need to do this in an extremely well ventilated area or you're going to feel really woozy and it could really mess you up. 
Another thing, safety thing. Now, I know occasionally you may have seen a cigarette in my hand. I do smoke. Bad, I know. I do it, but don't do it. But you don't want, if you smoke, don't do it. Do not smoke while doing this. Don't light anything. Don't have any matches or lighters or anything near this because this stuff is extremely flammable and it will burn fast and hot. You do not want any um, heat sources near this. So, okay. Now I threw you a couple, some of uh, these Protomex in a while ago, uh, yesterday I think. So they should be good. I wasn't too happy with the paint job. Besides that, man, man, I should get a hold of the uh, ones that are actually in the uh, Total Warfare rule book. So I'm finally gotten around to stripping these so I can repaint them. So I pulled it out. Now a good idea is to dip your toothbrush into the acetone, tap it off. That way you'll have a little extra when trying to get it off. Now being that this is a um, vibrating toothbrush, I'm going to turn it on now and just basically brush off. It's really not that hard, just light brush over top. Now I'm going to dip in again, get some more. Turn my brush back on. Now if you're using a uh, brush similar to mine that vibrates like it is, you only want to have it turned on when it's on the mini and turn it off because if you have it turned on while it's off that vibration is going to cause spatter of um, acetone all over the place and that's really not not a good idea so and let me go again here one thing I have noticed I for some reason now I put my basing material on the bases with uh, standard PVA glue and I'll tell you what, for some reason, acetone just has a real problem with getting that off. Well, I'm really not worried about that because I would have to rebase it anyway. So put my uh, stone, my grit and stuff back on anyway. So some of it will come off, but not a whole lot. But, you know, so anyway, and this one's done just about there's a small piece or two that I have to retouch okay okay now let me show I didn't show you one that wasn't stripped yet so hold on a second now I went from this I don't know if you can really see that let me adjust the light here yeah, here we go I don't know if you can really see this too well I went from um, a really poorly painted Gorgon to a uh, clean and stripped one and you know I had like I said I'd had mine in overnight but um, I would give it about an hour you can leave it in as little as a half hour and it should work or you can you know an hour is a good amount of time for this stuff to really kick in but like I said I threw mine in yesterday and just finally got around to doing it it's not they're not going to hurt the metal in any way shape or form um i haven't really tried with plastics i've heard it can uh warp it warp the uh miniature somewhat at, or the details at least of that i can't attest to because i haven't put pl plastics in acetone um i've heard simple green works really well for acetone it may take I think it takes a 24 hours for uh, plastics, but like I said, the product I use is acetone because most of my stuff's metal anyway, and it works really well, really fast, and pretty much cleans it out. And I rarely, if ever, have to uh, re-soak the mini. Um, like I said, the cleaner it is, the better it's going to work, but it's still gonna if I was fresh acetone I would would never have to re-soak it if it's pretty dirty you might have to re-soak the mini and strip it uh, you know brush it off again but all in all it's a cheap solvent it works and I've never really had any major problems with it 
So I hope that helps you guys. All right, see ya. Bye. Something else I wanted to add, guys. After you're done stripping your minis, take uh, the rag, uh, t-shirt, whatever you use. And this is something I do. I take it out, just take the, take the rag, take it outside, just so it can uh, it dry off itself. That way you won't have any more fumes in, uh, building up if you're doing this inside like I am right now. Alright, just thought I'd let you know. Bye.